Welcome, welcome to my welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been ages since I filmed the YouTube video. I'm not really late today. I'm supposed to be in the library right now, but I'm not in the library right now. I'm currently filming a video I'm to be doing inorganic chemistry. I'm currently nearly fit. Basically, I've got a two sheet, a tutorial sheet on two topics. Um, coordination chemistry and lathanides and actinides and i also need to catch up quite a few lectures that i've missed so i'm going to be watching quite a few of them back just so i can go to lectures tomorrow and um be on the same page i've been asked so much about my skincare quite a bit i'll share stuff throughout the video but i think i'll start off with the toners i'll start off with the first one that i bought this one is um is a really hyped product actually i've seen a lot of people use this uh it has two sides to the toner pack kind of looks like this it's got a reasonably good amount of series i've got two sides one for like adding it on and the other one for exfoliation I recommended that you use a toner before you um put a sheet mask on neatly toner pads these are extremely drenched in serum they are so good i really like this one it's really good um this one by midi heel i do like midi heel as a brand i usually use their sheet masks uh, so i thought i'd try the toner at night and i don't use this every single day and this one i i do use this one every single day uh this is like if i was to be consistent with one toner it would definitely be this one i absolutely love it to bits i literally bought it because it looked cute it, it was so worth it. it this this is really expensive like i'm not gonna joke i was um, it, it it caused a little dent i was like oof it's expensive I need all of these toners these are literally just me being extra if i was to recommend one it would definitely be this one but this one's really good too one thing i will say for research before you purchase anything don't just take what i say we all react differently to skincare cottage puffers and eyebrows elite comments Anyways, yeah, so this is the view from my bedroom. Um, I actually didn't film a room tour this year, which I did. Uh, I will do it in third year because uh, I'm going to be living in a similar bedroom. Anyways, I decided today to go to the Western Library. I've never actually studied in the Western Library before. So I just thought, let me actually utilize my time at Oxford and just rinse out as many libraries as possible. I'll be honest, I, this library is pretty, but it's a bit inconvenient to use you have to like take out all your belongings and put it in a locker and then they're very strict about you bringing laptop bags and stuff like that it's a very pretty library would i ever study here again probably not but yeah this was the place i've always wanted to go to because i never actually got a chance to go inside this like book place if you've ever been to the western library cafe you can see this like area from downstairs and it's actually really weird that i'm like inside there you go if you know what i mean so it was a bit weird being able to go inside. I also found another hidden library within the library. It was a bit, yeah, there's so much like archived books, archived like music tapes. It was, yeah, it was a very interesting experience. I've never seen stuff like this before. Films and like, yeah, random tapes. I don't know what they were. I just thought they were quite fascinating. That was me also procrastinating from studying. And now I've actually begun studying. Um... This sheet was one of the easier sheets. I just had multiple sheets to do that week. Um, and I also tried to get ahead of work. Um, but yeah, I c as you can see, I'm a little bit tense just because this is not like my usual environment. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, um, it was actually quite productive. It was just, um, yeah, I, need, I think it was at a point where like I was lacking motivation to do work. So I needed to like switch up environment because if there's one thing you actually see a lot from me in my time at uni, is I'm in the library so much to the point where like I actually don't think I even had much of a life this year. Um, yeah, that's that's what happens when you do chemistry. Um, so sometimes I like really need a switch of environment, and then I end up not liking the switch of environment because me and my friends usually go to like one library, and if I try another one, I just feel extremely isolated from everyone. So um, I hate being isolated, so I end up just going back to the library that I usually go to, which is the Radcliffe Science Library. So yeah, it was definitely an experience. I was quite productive. I got quite a bit done, but yeah. And do work until my but I think I'm gonna go back to the RSL for convenience purposes. And yeah, so this topic was uh, mainly inorganic chemistry. So I believe the sheet I was doing then was uh, coordination chemistry, which was quite a nice topic. It wasn't too difficult um, if chemistry was always like that. Anyways, on to more important topics. As I obviously haven't been on social media a lot, now that I'm going back on social media, a very important thing I do need to talk about is um, the genocide that's going on in Palestine. Uh, I will be emphasizing more on it and talking a bit more uh, in my future videos, but 
um, I'm going to put a bunch of links uh, for people to educate themselves. If you're not very educated on the topic, it is not difficult to educate yourself. I'll put some links in the description box. Please do have a look at them. Trying a new library out has made me realise why I do study in the RSL. This is why a science girlie will always use the science library. Because I don't feel like an outsider. Do you know what I mean? So I went to the Western Library. I was everyone was just looking at some old manuscripts and like really old archive text and just reading and doing humanity things and I'm just here like science girly, lathanides and actinides, transition metals, and organic chemistry and I felt outside. So I'm going back to the RSL where people are actually doing problem sheets so I can flip right back in. Yeah, and I can see my friends. I feel so isolated from my friends. Now, upon entering the best library in the world, I got back to work. And if you're noticing, I voice over these videos a lot. It's mainly because I don't want to add music. I Yeah, this was the break room. I ate dinner. And then I did some work. Went home, baked some cookies for a bake sale. And then went to bed. Um, I need to go and take the cookies to the prayer room. The reason I was baking was because there's a bake sale going on today for Palestine. Uh, the ISOC is doing one. So I stayed up and baked cookies yesterday. Um, this sheet is due next Saturday anyways, I'm actually just being dramatic for no reason. Um, but we also have World Culture Fair on Sunday, so I kind of want to get this sheet done, to be fair, and it's not a difficult sheet. So yeah, I just went to put the cookies in the prayer room and I gave them to people who are managing the bake sale, then just went and did work that morning in the library. Um, yeah, I was literally just trying to finish that problem sheet, and then I went and attended Juma. And then it obviously got late. I was I was in the library all day. I just didn't feel so. That. It's really dark. You can't really see much. <laughs> I've been procrastinating like crazy today, so I think I'm just gonna go back. Um, I'm gonna go back to the library. I'm gonna try to get as much done at work as I d work done as I can. This problem sheet is not hard. It's just really boring. The lab, I'm okay. Like it will get done. Um, I just wanna. Yeah, I just want to get this done so then I can do a couple. I don't have to do too much work tomorrow. My family are going to come so we can prepare for the World Culture Fair on Sunday. What time it is? I think it's like eight. Not eight. I don't think it's eight. It's like 7.30 maybe. Now, upon me re-entering the library after Salat al-Isha, uh, as you can see, there's no one here. So I'm, it's very obvious that I'm here for an unhealthy number of hours, as you can see from the not happy look on my face. Um, but yeah, I just kind of got everything done. And then I uh, was really happy that I was like two weeks ahead of my work. It gave me time to start revising for my uh, exams. And also I had the culture fair, which I had mentioned earlier in the video. I was representing the Libya stall and my family were coming over. So yeah, I was really happy that culture fair was quite successful as well. We served so much food. My mom also made food and brought it over. But yeah, the representation was incredible. Finishing this video off like weeks later because I forgot to like, continue the vlog because i just got so busy so i'm gonna do that now i think i'm gonna finish the video off here uh, a i'm gonna eat my dinner b i'm gonna go through the rest of the korean skincare that i said i was gonna finish going through so i will do it and b i just look a little bit because i kind of have deep the fact that like i haven't made a single youtube video since i started second year in uni um i apologize for that and also, I just want to start by this by saying that I have been in the absolute trenches when it comes to like, I've been an absolute academic victim. That's why I kind of posted way less than I did during A-levels. Uh, but like this year, I haven't posted anything, which I know is not amazing. This year, like, I, I think my mental health has really not been the best, I'll be so honest. Um, I think that what happens is, in because obviously Oxford terms are eight weeks. The start of the term will be fine. Like I will be like, yeah, I've got this. Like I'm getting to, I'm, like, I'm, I'm on top of my work. And then once week five hits, the fifth week, <sighs> there's always week five that just is just the trenches for me. And it's always the week where I have like so much labs as well. Or even talk to me about chemistry labs. It's another story for another day. But um, alhamdulillah, I'm on top of. I'm very ahead of my work actually. I can't lie, I'm literally doing work. I've actually fin I'm almost finished the sheet that's due in two weeks. Yeah, I know that sounds very extra. It's basically because I'm taking an exam in the ninth week. So you know how Oxford terms are eight weeks. I'm taking an exam in the holiday. Um, so I want to start revising for that. 
But yeah, I, I can't lie, I've just, yeah, I've been in the absolute trenches. But alhamdulillah, I feel like this year has been way better than last year. Really because I feel like the content is just more interesting. We don't have to do maths. I hated maths problem sheets. I, ugh, we don't have to do physics. I'm so happy. So, um, yeah, this year is like purely chemistry, which is really nice. And next year will also be purely chemistry. And so will fourth year too. Uh, depending on my research project this is like other korean skincare that i've tried and this is my opinion on quite a lot of it this i can't lie um i have nearly finished it this is just kind of in my opinion just like hyaluronic acid so i don't feel like it's done a lot for me it's also not made my it's not like irritated my skin in any way um i've reacted to this pretty positively i just don't feel like this has done a lot for me no hate on this but to me, it does the same job as hyaluronic acid. This is another toner. I don't know if I showed this, but this is like a spray-on toner. Um, it's a nice toner. It hasn't really done much for me, I can't lie. Um, also, uh, I do have this eye cream, which I really like. It's a very nice... It's a very viscous gel-type texture, if that makes sense, which is why I really like it. Um, I, I like this. I think um, it definitely soothes puffy eyes in the morning. So I do use this quite a bit, and I really like it so um yeah also korean eye eye serums or eye creams usually tend to be really expensive this is on the slightly cheaper end of things um yeah and then um this i got this as a <coughs> as a free gift because i bought quite a lot of skincare so i really like this moisturizer um the brand is called claire's i never i, I didn't know much about it but this is a really good like um Especially if you have like dry skin or sensitive skin, this is like, it's like, it's a lotion kind of moisturizer, but it doesn't feel heavy, if that makes sense. These are the products that I do use. You do not need all of this. this um, yeah, so I personally am happy that I switched to Korean skincare and I really like it. I'm gonna end the vlog here, A, because I need to cook. I'll probably put some snippets of the food I'm cooking. And I also have some K-drama to catch up on and i also need to read some quran before i go to bed yeah um assalamu alaikum it was it was you know lovely to be back out there um i will try my best to be out there but obviously i thought i'd be honest and transparent with the fact that like it is quite tough right now um there's a there's a lot going on um like i'm fine alhamdulillah before anyone asks i am fine it's just um uni is like literally the ghetto right now the workload is the ghetto you know the, yeah it's not gonna get any better by the way because next term i have exams and we still have work to do um so i'll be doing problem sheets and revising for finals so thank you guys for watching i really really appreciate it if you have not subscribed already please do subscribe i will see you guys soon